By getting your inventory into Merchant Center, you can get more of your products online across Google so shoppers can find you. But beyond just showing up, how do you make your products stand out? The key to capturing shoppers' attention is a complete and detailed feed. The more information you can provide, the more you can make sure that your ad has all the relevant information customers need to make a decision. In this video, we'll review a few tips to help your products stand out. Specifically, we'll cover best practices around title structure, images, and programs to help your ad stand out at a glance. Before we dive in, it's important to note that not all these tips will have the same effect on all products. Prioritize your most valuable products to optimize and use custom labels to monitor your performance from product data changes. Now let's get started with title structure. Having the right, relevant information in a title can give a shot for a clear picture of what they're browsing at a glance, much faster than reading description details. The basic title structure is brand plus product type plus attribute, but that can vary by category. You can make each title unique by adding more attributes, such as size and color. Especially on mobile, Ads only show 40 characters, and with users only having a few seconds or less of attention on your ad before looking to the next one, you'll want to make sure you lead with the right information. High value brands. If you carry high value brands, try putting the brand name in the front of your title. Shoppers may be loyal to certain brands, and so seeing the name along with your product image can help them make that click. But if you sell a more generic item without high brand value, then adding the brand might not be as helpful. For example, if you sell lollipops, shoppers may be more interested in the flavor of the lollipop than in the brand. If you sell items that target an audience looking for a specific size, make sure you've filled out the size type column in your data feed. By matching size type with search intent, you can help shoppers who are looking specifically for the sizes you offer helping you get more qualified clicks. You can also include key information like quantity or volume about your products to help shoppers understand how much of an item they're buying. For example, in this ad, $10 for a greeting card may seem like a bit much, but you can let the shopper know they're actually buying 10 greeting cards for this price. Now let's look at images. It's likely that the first thing your customers will see are your product images. Grab their attention by providing the highest resolution image you have without promotional marks or logos. Lastly, you can find more ways to differentiate your shopping ads by participating in additional Merchant Center programs. For example, you can set up Merchant Promotions to highlight any special offers you have. Or set up product ratings and seller ratings through Google Customer Reviews. If you have physical stores, you can also highlight if your products are available at a nearby store through local inventory ads. By incorporating these optimizations, your ad can go from this to this. We encourage you to test out different ways to optimize your feed to find what works best for you. The more complete your feeds are, the more relevant your ads will be, helping to connect you to the right customers.